All right, now that we're happy with our filter and we're happy with the bird plot, we're going to start calculating the coefficients. Just save this one, file new. So, we want it for IR filter. We still have to program the IR filter, but we're going to program the structure. We want these components. And to get these, com these values, we have to multiply now our out our Z transform values. So let me just get back to my Z transform coefficients. So remember we placed them with a pole zero placements. We got these coefficients or ach, not coefficients, sorry, these coordinates. And we have to put it into this formula. That's the basis of a pole zero. We have to put them in that formula. So we can now see that the poles and zeros must come in specific places. So let's do the first one. Let's just get my cookie there. So we say z minus my zero one. What is zero one? Zero one is zero plus j. And what is my next one? On top there it's z minus, and then here we go, 0 minus j. We have to multiply this now out. Now you see immediately, the more poles and zeros you have, the more multiplications you're going to have. So the better your filter is, the more maths is going to be. And indirectly, if we're going to start multiplying it out, you're going to see z to the power 2, z to the power 3. The more z's, the brackets there are, the more z to the power there are. The more of these you have to go down. At the moment, this is z to the power minus 2. But the moment you get z to the power minus 3, it means you're going to have another one here. Another z minus 1 to get z to the power minus 3. That b2 is going to be b3. That minus a2 is going to be minus a3. So... The more filter you have, the more structure you have to program as well. So again, the better your filter, the more maths, the more work. It's uh, unfortunately a rule of nature that the better it is, the harder you have to work. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this negative in. So we get Z minus J. And then with this one I'm going to multiply that negative in. So I get Z plus J. School maths again, what do we get? First ones, still remember that rule, first the first ones, then the last one, then the middle ones. So we get z squared minus zj plus zj and then minus j times j is 0 plus 0. Because the square root of minus 1 times 1 would be just 0. So what do we have here? We've got minus j plus j. Remember the z's are the same. So minus j plus j would be 0. So what we have on top of the equation, we just have z squared plus 0 plus 0. So we just leave it like that. But we can put it in there. Plus 0 z to the power 1. Below the equation, what do we have below the equation? They will have z minus pole zero of pole one let me just uh, just undo this pole one would be that number there so that's zero comma seven oh six plus j zero comma four zero four five and that's gonna multiply let me just move this one around a bit There. My next one would be 0 minus pole 2. This is underneath the equation, eh? like underneath the divide. Bracket pole 2 would be 0, 0,706 minus j 0, 0,045. Again, the rule first one, second one. So let me just multiply the 0 in first. For me, it's easier. I go 0 
minus 0, 0,706j. Ach, I mean z. Just make a little stripe in the z. Plus 0,045jz. Sorry, that will change to a minus because the multiply mul multiplied in with the minus. Sorry, I'm <laughs> making a mistake. I'm going to put the multiply in it and it just made a mistake here and we just fix it quick. We just multiply the negative in, so it's still going to be z minus 0, 0.706 minus j 0. Let me just fix this. Sorry, man. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm going to multiply the minus in. <laughs> So we start again. We multiply the minus in so it becomes a plus there. So it's minus 0, 0,706 minus j 0, 0,045. And this time we multiply the minus in there. We're going to get the same type of value where we get the z. That changed to plus. All right, so we're still multiplying out. We say that negative goes in there, positive. So it's 0, comma minus 0, comma 706 plus j 0, comma 0, 0.045. And now we have to multiply it all out. So first thing, let me just put a line for the j there. Again, that school rules first, last, second, and so on. So we get z squared plus minus 0, 0,706 minus j 0, 0,045z plus minus 0, 0,706 plus j 0, 0,045z. Just put a line for that z there. And then the last one we have to multiply these last two out. So we multiply that with that, and the minus j plus j will give me a 0. So the j's give you a 0, and the minus minus j times the minus j is basically 0, 0,5 so the answer there is going to be plus 0, 0,5. Now because this z to the power 1 and z to the power 1 is the same thing we can then add these two together so our final one would be z squared plus and if we add them together we're going to get the following 1 it's not plus it's minus sorry minus that part we are going to get minus 1.412 set to the power 1 plus 0 comma 5 so this is now kind of a mess I know so above the equation we get this so we're going to get there Above the equation, we're going to get z squared plus 0z to the power 1 plus 0, basically. And then below, we're going to get z squared minus 1,412 z to the power 1 plus 0, 0,5. So I'm going to show you now next how to convert this into that equation there, because that's the one we want. So here we can see we've got positive powers of that. There we've got negative powers of set.